Hi there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to the next episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Fomichev, and I'm a Psycho Technology MVP. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about organizing your content. More specifically, organizing the custom content that you create to support the new website that you're about to build in Sitecore. So why is it important? Well, the biggest reason is the cost of maintenance. Making your custom content chaotically spread around the content tree makes it very hard to find. So it increases the cost of making any development changes, uh, and especially the cost of making content changes. So let's take a look at how we can avoid that. So what I have here is an empty Sitecore instance. And I'll show you the approach that I personally take in my Sitecore projects. So first what I do is in the site configuration, when I start a new site project, I add a site definition. And I come up with a name, a specific name for the new website. And that is the name that will be used in the site definition. And that is the same name I will use for creating custom folders to organize the content. Now that makes things a lot more consistent, intuitive, and therefore easier to find. So let's call our new website demo. And what I like to do is organize everything that's related to that website, any of the custom content that's related to the demo website, into the demo folders under the respective locations in the Sitecore content tree. For instance, we'll start with templates. What I do is I create a new template folder under templates and call it demo. So all of the templates that are related to the demo website will go under that demo folder. Now, I know that there is a good chance that I'll be creating some custom branch templates for the demo website. So what I'll do is I'll create a demo folder under branches as well. And this is the pattern that I'll follow for the rest of the Sitecore content nodes. Now, I'm not sure if I'll be customizing any of the Sitecore functionality, so I won't go into the system. I'm also not sure about the social, but I know we're going to create some custom media library assets. Now, Sitecore by default provides two folders, files and images, for uploading custom content. What I actually like to do is ignore that default structure and again, create the demo folder for assets specific to that website directly under media library. And under that demo folder, I'll go ahead and create the images. And instead of files, I actually like to call the other folder documents. I think that's more uh, user friendly and it's more intuitive. You know, theoretically, images are also files. So having files and images folders, sort of redundant. So moving on, um, I know my website will be using layouts, at least one custom layout. So I'll go ahead and create a demo folder under uh, layouts. I know this will be an MVC website. So I'll go ahead and create a demo folder under renderings. Now hopefully uh, no one's starting new websites uh, using web forms anymore. It is being phased out, so keep that in mind. And we're not going to have any simulators, but we will have some, we're definitely going to have some custom placeholders. So I'll create a demo folder under that as well. Now we'll keep the devices there. We're not sure if we're going to need any custom ones. And last but not least, what I like to do is actually create a, a separate template for a site node under content. But for the sake of the demo, I'll go ahead and use the sample item template and we'll create a demo item directly under content for that new website. Now, this is how I would go about organizing content for a single site instance. Let's, take, uh, let's say that we're working on a multi-site instance. Well, the story is pretty similar actually. Uh, let's, uh, let's say our other website is going to be called Demo 2. So we'll follow the same pattern for the Demo 2 website as well. So we'll organize all the content that's related to the Demo 2 website under the Demo 2 folders in the same location. So same would go for branches. Go ahead and create a Demo 2 folder here. Media library, layouts, content, and so forth. So you get the idea, right? So the main, uh, the main point of this is trying to organize your content under a single location. That makes it very easy to find. That makes it very intuitive that makes it very easy to package up content if we had to move content from one location to another. And it also makes it very easy to assign security access rights. 
because we're following the content tree and let's say especially in a multi-site instance uh, it's very easy to simply assign security rights for the website user group to one folder and then simply uh, disable inheritance on the other folder so users of one website don't have access to the items from the other right now let's say we have shared content which is often the case let's, uh, let's say we have some content that's shared between the two websites well that's also very easy to tackle so what, what I usually do is create a shared folder and all of the shared templates, all the shared branches, all the shared layouts, renderings, content, media library, and so forth would go under the shared folder in their respective locations. And that is it. So make sure to keep your content organized. And uh, my name is Vasily Fomachev again, and I'm a Sitecore MVP. Make sure to check out the cmsbestpractices.com for more tips like this. And I will see you next Friday. Over and out.